So one of the first things that was added that everybody had been requesting was um, trimming and lengthening of the hair, uh, mane and tail of the horses. So that has now been added. Oh crap, all my horses are out in the pasture, but I can still show you. Okay, so you see right on the end here, the scissors, you click that and it says haircut. Um, the hair will grow back after seven days, but you could clip it really short, medium, long, or very long. Um, I prefer mine long, and the same with the tail. Um, I love how it says natural, like you're going to be, maybe braiding will be available later. So it looks like my tail is really long. I am going to clip it to a very short tail, and then her mane to a medium tail, or medium mane. And um, the hair will grow back in seven days. Give her a little brushy, she's preggos. She is a chestnut. And the other thing that had been added that everybody had been requesting for is this. Each horse now will will show that uh, what their pattern or coat color is. So she is a chestnut roan Appaloosa. And she's going to give birth in two days. I'm very excited. And this sweet girl. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> to get closer. There, there's like a hole here that's not there. Okay, so she's just flat black, but her mane, let's turn it to a short, and a short, give her a little robo. You see the leaves, somebody else is walking, the other horses, get my girl. It's kind of hard to do when there's another horse walking your path. So those are a couple of the new updates that I really, really like. Um, let's see, those are all the same. Let's go look at Basil, my paint stallion. And this is going to call every other horse that I've got here. Yep, here they all come. Alright, so he is a Bay of Vero. So he's a paint. Yep, here comes everybody. Hi guys, thank you for coming to Santi. So she is a blue roan Appaloosa. You would think Douglas would be back here, but apparently not. So, and um, I thought I had a leopard, but I don't. No, I don't. I don't have a leopard, but we'll we'll go compete, and I'll show you the guide arrow. Actually, I could show you the guide arrow now. Um, if I go to entrance, oh, well, that defeated the purpose. All right, I'll do a race, I'll show you the guy arrow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So for those who don't know, this is, this is a Ranch of Rivershine. Cute little cozy horse game. The town is mostly shut down except for the general store and the park office. And um, the horse trainer is in that building back there, River. She's super nice. And the auction house. Um, this is where the town square is, where you can sign up for your competitions. Um, you have to unlock them. Uh, let's, let's do the loop line better. Too. There are, at the moment, there are four different areas. This map goes through and shows you the course, for the most part, what, what to expect. So I'll leave that running. And then you've got your mate. Oh, that looks super cool from the from the air. I didn't see that before. And then you get your countdown. And go. And your horse can refuse jumps, but hopefully you're not. This is an advanced race. She didn't start out with full energy, so I'll slow her down here so she can catch her breath. Those who've played before already know all this. But um, that red bar will be the gallop is the horse's energy. When they run out of energy, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> so 
in a race, it's really important. Uh, it's all time, as you see over here at the right hand corner. To do it as fast as possible and not miss any jumps. You can see the guide arrow is black because it's winter. In spring and summer, the guide arrow will go back to white. But it's much easier to see because before we were all getting lost. Because we couldn't find the guide arrow because it's on the winter on the snowy ground. This is the Lupine Meadow where you would get your jumping experience if you're not doing the race. And you have Lupine Forest which does the endurance. Um, Crystal Lake does the jumping and there's nothing for flexibility at the moment. Sight. Those are nice. Look, oh, there's two white frogs. One's better than the other. So then you get a bonus for doing winning first place on the first race of the day for that section, and then you get your reward. So let's go visit the auction house. Let's see if we can find a leopard. And you can actually hear me. I'm going to try and make this short and sweet. No hitching posts. Short and sweet. No hitching posts yet. Oh, there's no people in here. Ooh, Red Bay Appaloosa. That's what they call that? Oh my goodness. That's pretty. And the, excuse me, for those who don't know, this is what you just judge the horses on. Red Bay Tobino. Okay, so that edit where it would get stuck on one coat color is fixed. Thank you, Eloise. Um, you want to have these as high as possible, but when you're buying them, they're not going to be. They're going to be mixed. So you buy the coat pattern plus the stats that you want and then hopefully the potential is enough that you can train up the other sections. Oh, this looks like a medicine hat. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Leopard. Look how pretty. I wish I could, could scroll in. Chestnut Roan Appaloosa. So this is a leopard Appaloosa and Eloise worked really hard trying to get this to look better than it did before. You can see how the spots are trying to go more like the natural way that coat hair would go, especially on the hips and the underarms and such. The face looks much, much better. Very, very nice. Very nice. But that was what I wanted to show you. All right, folks. That is, whoops, that you did not need to see. Ah, where am I going? All right, enjoy the view. Thank you so much. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like the content. I'm working on getting better videos so <laughs> let me know how I'm doing how this one goes I added an intro or I'm trying to add an intro but don't forget like and subscribe and I will see you next time thank you so much bye now